In this lesson, we'll practice naming and writing formulas of acids and bases. Question 1 reads, identify each of the following as an acid or a base and give its name. Starting with 1, we have H3PO4 and this is an ingredient in soft drinks. As you can see, this molecule has a polyatomic ion, phosphate, and when phosphate and hydrogen come together in this ratio, we form phosphoric acid. So this is phosphoric acid. In question number two, NaOH, the ingredient in oven cleaner. We have sodium and we have OH. That's a polyatomic ion known as hydroxide. So the name of this compound is sodium hydroxide. And it's a base. Hydroxide has basic properties. So we will write down sodium hydroxide. Anytime you have OH attached to a metal, it's going to be basic. Let's move on to question B. Write the formula of each of the following. This time we have magnesium hydroxide. Hydroxide has a charge of minus, it's ionic form. And magnesium has a charge of 2 plus. It's found in the second column of the periodic table. So when they come together, we can just do a switch of these numbers where we have magnesium OH, no need to write down 1 here, but we can write down 2 and make sure that OH is in brackets. So it represents two hydroxides. That's the chemical formula for the first, and for the second we have hydrobromic acid. That is a binary acid, and a binary acid is when you have, for example, a halogen with hydrogen. Bromine has a charge of 1 minus, it's a bromide ion, and hydrogen has a charge of 1 so once again, we do that little switch, and we get HBr. In question two, identify as an acid or a base and give the name of H2CO3. This is very similar to the first example that we did. We have carbonate, that's the polyatomic ion, and it's coupled with two hydrogens. So we can write down carbonic acid. Carbonic acid. Usually the hydrogens are indicative that it is an acid. And lastly, write the formula for iron 3 hydroxide. Once again, we're dealing with hydroxide, so you know it's going to be a base, and it's iron 3. So Fe with a charge of 3 plus, that goes here, that in brackets, and the charge of OH is minus 1, so we don't need to write down a 1 there. So there you have it, three examples on how to name and create formulas of acids and bases.